Hello everyone. How are you? Fine, right? In this video, we are going to discuss constant speed and changing speed. Constant speed means same speed of an object throughout the journey and changing speed means speed of an object keep changing throughout the journey. Now we'll move on board to see some examples of constant speed and changing speed. Now we will see in detail about constant speed and changing speed. Constant speed means speed of an object should be same throughout the journey and changing speed means speed of an object changes with time. Now we are going to see some examples of constant speed and changing speed. Changing speed also known as variable speed. This is one example for constant speed. Suppose Sam. Sam has to uh, go to school and he, he will start from his home and reaches to school and this is the way how he goes. So in the first section he covers 100 meter in 10 seconds. Then second section of his journey he covers 100 meter in 10 seconds and third section also 100 meter in 10 seconds. So now we will see what will be Sam's speed in each section of his journey. So for first section as you know speed is equal to distance by time. Here distance is 100 meter and time is 10 seconds. So speed will be equal to 10 meter per second. In the same way for second section distance is 100 and time is 10. So speed will be 10 meter per second. In the third, third section also distance is 100 and Time is 10 second. So speed will be equal to 10 meter per second. So you can see that Sam has same speed in first section, same speed in second section and same in third section. So this type of speed when same distance covered in same time that is called constant speed. This is Sohan's journey from his home to a park. Journey which he has covered is uh, 5 meter in 5 second, then uh, 15 meter in 10 second, and this one 12 meter in 6 second. So now we'll see what what is his speed in each section of his journey. So in the first section when, when we will calculate speed as you know speed is equal to distance by time that is 5 meter by 5 second. So it will be 1 meter per second. The second uh, section of his journey will calculate speed that will be equal to distance by time again distance 15 meter by 10 second. So uh, speed will be equal to 1.5 meter per second. In the third section of his journey, uh, speed will be equal to distance is 12 meter and time is 6 second. So it will be equal to 2 meter per second. So as you can see, different speed he has during different time of his journey. First section 1 meter per second, second section 1.5 meter per second and third section it was 2 meter per second. So this type of journey is called changing speed. Speed keep changing throughout the journey. These are three different types of distance time graph. Graph A, B and C. The graph A is known as graph for steady speed because equal distance has been covered in a equal time. So this type of graph which straight line passing through origin is known as graph for steady speed.
This is another type of distance time graph where we have compared speed of two uh, objects. Suppose this is the graph for red car. And this is the graph for blue car. If you can see, speed of red car is greater than blue car. You know why? Why red car has greater speed than blue car? That we can see from graph itself. If you see the distance covered by the red car, that is here. So, red car has covered this much distance in same time. Whereas, blue car has covered this much distance in same time. So, distance covered by, by blue car is lesser than distance covered by red car. So, the speed of red car is greater than blue car. So, this type of graph where there are two or more than two lines, that graph is used to compare speeds. This is third type of graph in which you can see it is not a straight line like other two. It is a curve. So, curve means at the beginning the speed was slow but afterwards it has increased sharply. So, this type of graph is for speeding up. This type of graph shows that the object is not moving constantly. It is speeding up. Observe these vehicles. How do we know whether the motion is slow or fast? The answer here is simple. You compare them and their change in position with respect to time. When all of these vehicles move in the same direction, we accurately know which one is moving faster. By observing these vehicles, we come to know that the range of motion is signified by its changing position for a set interval of time. In simple words, the distance covered by an object in a fixed interval of time helps us to know whether the object is faster or slower. By looking at photographs also, we can understand about constant speed and variable speed. Now we'll see one photograph, photograph 1. In, the, in photograph 1, there is only one owl, not five. The camera has taken five pictures, one after the other. They were taken at equal intervals of time. So, from the photograph, you can tell that the owl is flying from left to right. You can also tell that it is flying at a constant speed because the picture are taken at equal space at equal interval of time. Photograph 2 shows a steel ball bearing rolling down a slope. The images of the ball bearing get further apart as it runs down the slope. This shows that ball bearing is speeding up. So, equal spacing tells us that an object is moving at a st steady speed and increasing spacing tells us that it is speeding up. After watching this video, answer these questions.